I often mine historical material for my art. Sometimes with personal references. Most recently, manuscript illumination combined with dead leaf and plant forms Toward the end of every year, I make a new work in recognition of my Pearl Harbor Day birth. I hit my 80th birthday on December 7th. A solicitation for a timely exhibition on the theme of war came from the Hudson Valley Museum of Contemporary Art. I recalled an 1173 letter signed by Maimonides, medieval Jewish philosopher, physician, and sage, that was written to muster ransom to release Jewish captives taken by crusaders. I previously had incorporated this letter into my 1986 edition portrait of Maimonides to raise funds then for the rescue of Ethiopian Jews endangered by war and famine. I made multiple print generations to break down the letter's image resolutions as artistic process can reflect content. I extend metaphor to materials. To attach transparencies, I punctured the work with hammer and tack. The surface of the work reflects damage. To emphasize life-saving efforts through centuries, I set the Maimonides letter into a Swedish Schutzpass format, a 1944 document that Raoul Wallenberg, Swedish diplomat and World War II hero, used to save lives during the Nazi Holocaust. 770 years after the Maimonides letter was penned. I had previously used the Schutzpass format for a 10-foot montage tribute to Wallenberg, commissioned by the Los Angeles Simon Wiesenthal Museum of Tolerance. From that commission, I used direct scans of fabric stars that Jews were forced to wear. The upper right passport section where the bearer's ID photo would have been instead contains an image of doorposts streaked with red X's from my art for the Night of Questions Haggadah. This image references the biblical narrative of the Jewish Passover story, the smearing of doorposts with lamb's blood to avert the angel of death from Jewish dwellings when Pharaoh remained stubborn even after the onslaught of devastating plagues. Bomb and Nazi goose step images are residue scraps of my 1992 record covered art commissioned by RCA for Gustav Holst's The Planets, also the soundtrack for Ken Russell's film of the same name in which the planet Mars is emphasized in relation to events of war. I interfaced all these images in war paint as a way of juxtaposing the deeply troubling present, World War II, and medieval history with the root struggle depicted in ancient biblical texts. Images of Einstein, Hitler, and the atom bomb are taken from residue scraps of my illustrations for the lamp commissioned in 1983 to illuminate historian David McCullough's narrative on humanity's most impactful events over 100 years. Another transparency implied with vintage red thumbtacks presents an enlarged contrast image of a commemorative minted coin designed by Marion Geisler, our Uncle Mark, who disguised as a non-Jew was a freedom fighter against the Nazis in the Polish underground. My frequent mining of manuscripts and vintage print material was inspired while in my late 20s, I discovered an 1873 Eastern European Yiddish book in L.A. street trash. Also, in later years, by finding deteriorating World War II newspapers wrapped around our basement pipes as pipe insulation, which I've reflected on how war is framed. These events also inspired my pipe sweat domino portfolio acquired by the Getty Center in 2019 that traces my career trajectory to my massive Wings of Witness unfinished flight assemblage installed here at the Hudson Valley MOCA in 2013 and 14.